It's December 24, 2008, and I just got in the mail my new iPod adapter for my 2005 Toyota Tacoma truck. So with this adapter, I'll be able to play my iPod through the radio console. The tools that are needed are as follows a 10 millimeter socket wrench, a uh, two inch putty knife to remove the console, some drinks, and of course the laptop. So uh, let's open it up and see what's going on. Like so many things these days, it did come in a sealed package. So I need to remove that. Well, that's not too bad. Okay, the device comes with some basic uh, setup here, which is uh, all your connection cables for your iPod. You've got the uh, iPod, um, or the power connector for the device itself, the iPod connection tape cable, and additional um, power cables that, that we'll need here in a minute. The only thing it did not come with was a mini to RCA connector. This is a mini stereo plug to two RCA connectors which go into the device on this side which allow for other other playing of other devices as MP3 players and so forth other than the iPod. And then the iPod connector is going to go here. So the, this is, uh, if you want one of those, you need to get in a deal. Here we have our 2005 Toyota Tacoma. And this is where we're going to install it, right inside here. Now this is the panel that we're going to have to pull off. So this is where we're going to use our putty knife and then our 10 millimeter wrench. Okay, this is the air conditioning panel and the idea is to just slide this up underneath this and then pop this out out right there. A long extender because you got four bolts in here that you're going to have to take off in order to get the radio out. So starting at the very bottom, you're going to have to remove this one and then oops. It might be also good to make sure that you have a socket wrench that works. Okay, we'll try it again, get another socket wrench here and see if we can do this a little bit better. These are really not on there that tight. So it's just a matter of getting them out. Make sure there are four of them. And you want to make sure you get all of four. Alright. And that's all there is to that. Once you get the four bolts out, make sure you put them somewhere so you have them because you're going to need them again to put it back in again. So set them someplace safe. Now the radio is held in by, similar to the other thing below. you got to put your finger up in here and just sort of lift this up, pull the radio out, just a couple of clips that hold it, and then it comes right out. Well, as with anything, there's two schools of thought as to how you want to do this. I'm elected to go ahead and um, plug it in here, but I'm going to place the uh, transmitter in the hookup in the glove compartment along with the iPod. Now, I could, some people think, put it all back in here and that would be okay too, but uh, I want to be able to get to the dip switch, be able to replace cords if I need to, and so forth without having to take out the radio again. So that's my thought. So this is the power cord that goes to the um, actual device. And then here is this piece here that apparently we need to hook into the radio. So that's what I'm going to do now.
Well, like so many times when, when doing projects like this, I came out with a uh, small issue where um, I have an extra piece, so it doesn't say, I guess that's for an auxiliary piece. And when I was uh, trying to get the glove box open, of course, I not only opened it, it uh, completely came out. So, boom, there you go. Using the supply jack, which is kind of cool, it's got a little thing on it to keep it clean too. And then um, we're going to test it and see if the radio works. Okay. As you can see, I've got it uh, working here. That switches the tracks. Checks the Beatles. So it's working. Cool. Well, when I started this process, it took a little while, but I made some changes. If you notice that the uh, what's really unique about this one is that it's on iPod Direct, which means I can use the iPod directly and play my music. So basically what's what it's saying is I'm now controlling everything from the actual iPod itself. But if you can see up here it says CD indirect. But I can turn that off. And now here's here's my song. It's telling me uh, what we're playing here. We can go forward. Another one. Go backwards. iPod direct again. That'll let me play my playlist. Off. CD. So this is awesome. Everything from my iPod right over my radio. And the sound. Alabama. Merry Christmas. Well, so you can see it works. Tennessee. So Merry Christmas, Stephen. Merry Christmas. Louisiana to St. Bart's